Welcome to day 15 of the 2023 Advent of Code. Today's problem is Lens Library. So, we're implementing some sort of hash algorithm, so we want to turn a string of characters into a single number from uh, 0 to 255 inclusive. So to run the hash algorithm, we'll start with 0, and then for each character, we'll apply the following update. We find the ASCII code, which can be implemented using the ORD function in Python. We increase the current value by this number, we multiply the current value by 17, and then we take the remainder dividing by 256. So let's just define our hash function. We start with a value of 0, and then for each character in the string, we first increase it by the uh, ASCII value, which is the ORD function in Python, then we multiply it by 17, and then we take the remainder divided by 256. So we print hash of the all uppercase word hash, we get 52 as expected. The input is a single line of comma separated values. And so for part one, we just want to take the sum of the hash of each of these. So we just take the sum of the hash of each of the input split over commas. And so part one is actually surprisingly easy today. As for part two, I found the wording a bit complicated, but it's actually fairly simple to implement once you understand what it's trying to do. So we have 256 boxes numbered from 0 through 255. Inside each box, there are a bunch of lens slots. We can assume there are infinitely many. And along the wall running parallel is a bunch of lenses organized by focal length. So we have lenses ranging from focal length 1 through 9. So the initialization sequence that we're given is actually encoded in a certain protocol. So each lens has a label, which is the string. And then we have either an equal sign or a dash. For a dash, it means remove the lens with that label. And for an equal sign, it means this label should be given to a lens with this focal length and then placed into the box equal to the hash length of the label. Sorry, the equal to the hash value of the label. So that's the box that we want to place the lens in. And so if we look at this example, Rn will have a hash value of zero. So we put a lens labeled Rn with a focal length of one in box zero. Cm needs to be removed here. It's not present, so we do nothing. Qp equals three needs to be removed. Sorry, it needs to be added. So we give focal length 3 to a lens labeled qp and put it in box 1, which is the hash value of qp. cm equals 2 then gets inserted in 0, qp then gets removed, so on and so forth. So let's start by defining a couple of values. The boxes is going to be 256 empty arrays. Once a lens is if a lens is already in the box with the same label, we want to replace the old one. So we don't want to add an extra one in if there are duplicate entries. And also when we remove the lens, we want to move any remaining lens as far forward as possible. So basically we want no empty slots. That's pretty easy to do with an array. We can just call remove on it. And now we will also want to have a map pointing from the label to the focal length. The reason we want to do this is to make this whole process a bit easier. Since we want to replace the old one lens with the new lens, it'll be in the same position. And so the label's position is not changing. It's only the focal length assigned to that label that changes. Also, when we remove a lens, um, we want to remove it by label, and the focal length can be completely ignored. So for boxes, just storing the labels makes the whole process a lot easier. And if we then have focal lengths as a dictionary from labels to numbers, this will make the whole process a lot simpler. And so now we want to loop through the input split by comma. So for item in, or I guess we can say instruction in input dot split on commas. If the instruction contains a dash, then we want to remove the uh, label, which is the f all but the last character of instruction. And so we say uh, index is equal to the hash value of label. So that's the box that it should be in. And then we can just say boxes dot remove uh, boxes at index, so the nth box dot remove label, and it will give us an error if the value is not present. So if 
label is in boxes index, then we remove it. Otherwise, we do nothing. Otherwise, it's an equal sign. So we can say label length equals instruction dot split on equal sign. And length should be an int. And now we just say index equals hash label again. This time, we only want to insert it if it's absent. So if label is not in the nth box, then we want to insert it by using dot append. Whether or not it's already in the box, either way, we want to reassign the focal length of the lens with label of label. And so we can say focal length of label equals uh, length. So we print out what we have at the end. We see that for boxes, we have a, an array of length 256. And as expected, the only labels in the box are RNCM in box 0 and OTABPC in box 3. The focal lengths are 1 for RN, 3 for QP, which isn't present here, but that's fine, 2 for CM, 7 for OT, 6 for PC, 5 for AB. So those values are all as expected. Now, in order to obtain the final answer, we need to get the focal uh, add up the focal power of the lenses. The focusing power of a lens is the result of multiplying the box number starting at 1, the slot number within the box starting at 1, and the focal length of the lens. And so we can just say total equals 0, and then for box number, box in enumerate the boxes starting from 1, for lens slot, lens in enumerate, I guess we should say label here in enumerate uh, box starting at 1 as well. We say total plus equals, so it's the box number starting at 1 times the lens slot starting at 1 times the focal length of the lens, which we can get from focal lengths label. And finally, we just output the total, and that gives us the answer for part 2. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.